Oh my. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. A Kobe Bryant patch autograph Woo! number four of ten. How is it going everybody and welcome back to my channel, Kobe Cards. Today is going to be a fun day, but it's going to be a long break we have here. We have got a hobby box. You can see right there, hobby edition of 2001-2002 Topps Heritage. So this is awesome. This is coming off the 2000 year where the Lakers won the NBA Finals. Uh, we've got 24 packs of eight cards, and there's actually going to be bubble gum in all of the packs here, so that's going to be interesting. Um, that being said, there are five different Kobe cards that you can get in this box, so we are basically hunting for Kobe. There's also a few Jordans you can get as well. Um, one of the unfortunate things with this box is you're not guaranteed any memorabilia, but there are some that you can find here. Um, another thing is that there is a 1 in 388 chance, according to at least uh, the statistics of what they publish on this product, that you can pull a Tim Duncan autograph relic card which is like a $1,200 card which would be absolutely insane. Um, with that being said, I got this for a price of $148. And let's see how we do. So I'll let you read this. This came with it. And fun fact about these packs, they are definitely vintage. They call it Topps Heritage, but they named this design, or not named it rather, but um, they mimicked the design of the 1974-75 Topps cards for this product. So it's sort of going to be a retro throwback design from that perspective. We've got all the packs here. I'll put those off to the side. And let's get into it. So these packs definitely come apart like the old uh, wax, I would say. Daryl Armstrong, Bryant Reeves, Travis Best. We've got our gum, Eric Snow. We've got a matchup of Heat and Hornets, Kings and Suns. Another matchup card of Knicks Raptors, Jazz Mavericks. We've got Reggie Miller and Mark Jackson. So that is the first pack. I'll probably throw all the gum off to the side. Now there are three different types of insert sets in these packs. There's the Out of Bounds, there is the Air Alert, and there is the Crossover. So those are going to be the inserts we are looking for. And speaking of air alert, we got our first one right here, Tracy McGrady. So there are three of these that are expected. This is actually the fourth best one. They have a Jordan of this, as well as a Kobe. And then here we've got a Clippers team leaders card, a Lakers, and here we go. The first of five Kobe's we are looking for right off the bat. Team leaders right here. This is going to go in a sleeve. Because the video is actually going to be pretty long because there's so many packs, I'm not going to sleeve everything. But these are definitely made out of cardboard. So you look at the design, um, like, I'm not sure how easy it is to tell, but these are definitely not the same formula, I'll say, of what they use for stock today. Back to the pack, Eric Snow and Vitali Potapenko. So the Air Alert, like I said, is a 12-card set. That's one of the three we are going to be expecting for this box because those are one in every eight packs. So here we have got Tyson Chandler, Stephen Hunter, Jason Williams, Joseph Forte. We got a Sonics card. We've got a Raptors card, Aaron McKee, and Keith Van Horn. In terms of the rookies we are looking for in this class, they do have Tony Parker and Pau Gasol. Those are pretty much the two main ones that you're going to be looking for. Here we've got John Stockton, Brian Grant, Stefan Marbury, All-Stars. We've got Hakeem Olajuwon. And then we've got a Team Leaders, Team Leaders, 
Tony Kukoc, and Muchi Norris. And then the other two insert sets I'll say are the Out of Bounds, which is one in every 10 packs, so roughly 2.4, since it's 24 packs, are to be expected. And then the Crossover, which is a one in 14 packs, so maybe one or two there. So here we've got an Out of Bounds, which is one of the ones I just brought up. We can expect 2.4 of these, and this is actually the best one you can get. This is a Tony Parker rookie card, just as I said, Out of Bounds. So this is the absolute best card in the Out of Bounds set that you can get. So I'm very happy with that. So that is definitely a big hit right there. That's, that's huge. Wow. And then... Checklist, Nash, Campbell, Antonio Daniels. So doing pretty well. We've got one Kobe, we got a T-Mac Air Alert, and we've got a Tony Parker rookie insert. And that's the only Parker rookie insert you can get. So that's awesome right there. Moving on, Brandon Armstrong, Tony Parker. Speak of Tony Parker, we've hit the base and the insert now of Tony Parker. So we've got those two rookies right there doing really well. We've got Shannon Anderson, Grizzlies, Chauncey Billups, Kenyon Martin, and Marcus Pfizer. Let's see if we can find some more Kobe's. I'm really excited about this. Again, I didn't have any of the five Kobe's, so this box was just meant for me to, you know, keep fleshing out my collection. So Avery Johnson, Jason Collins, Joe Johnson. Uh, Joe Johnson was a rookie, so I'm going to put that there because that's a rookie card of Joe Johnson. Eddie Griffin. Here we've got a Tim Duncan, San Antonio Spurs card, so I'll put that under there. Glenn Robinson, Keon Dooling, and Sean Bradley. And then pack number eight here will be a third of the way into this box once I rip this. We've got Rafer Alston, Eddie House. Now some of the cards aren't, they have a little bit of, I'm not sure what that is, but just like a smudgy thing to it. Maurice Taylor, probably because of the bubble gum, which is rotting in there. Uh, David Robinson, All-Stars. We've got Warriors, Chucky Atkins. We've got Irvin Johnson and Jonathan Bender. So we are a third of the way through. Let's bring this next stack over and get into it. We've got Sean Kemp, Jason Kidd, Tim Hardaway. We've got Gerald Wallace. This is also a rookie card of Gerald Wallace. And then we've got team leaders for the Blazers, PJ Brown, Alvin Williams, and Steve Francis. Pack 10, we've got tons of inserts left we're looking for, and like I said, you're not even guaranteed a relic, so I'm nervous about that. Anthony Carter, Darius Miles, Latrell Sprewell, we have got something here. We've got a hit. That is awesome. It is. Articles of the Arena, Chris Weber. So these are one in every 46 packs, so this was the most likely one to get. But you can see right here, you've just received an authentic piece of the Boston Garden floor on which Chris Webber had played in an NBA game. So that's super cool. A piece of the Boston Garden. Very nice. So I'm going to sleeve that up for sure. Awesome. So that'll go right there. And then to finish out this pack, just some base. But we did get a hit. It makes me think that our odds of getting that Tim Duncan card is uh, a little bit less now. But then again, there was a one in um, basically like 7,000 chance of getting it. So on a per pack basis, it was one. In, it came out to one in every 388 boxes. And this gum is stuck to the pack. Let's rip that off. All right. Back to the pack. Damone Brown, Patrick Ewing, Shane Battier. That is a rookie right there. 
Ron Artest, we've got a matchups card. And then we've got Catino Mobley, Christian Leitner, and Ben Wallace. So I'm looking for more Kobe and Jordan, honestly. Haven't seen any Jordan yet. But we've got Jamal Tinsley, Raja Bell, Samuel D'Alembert. And then here we've got the Heritage Air Alert. So this is going to be our second one of these. And it's Vince Carter. So not too bad, but still, you know, we hit the third and fourth best, I would say, or the fourth and fifth best. But you haven't seen Jordan or Kobe there. We've got Rick Fox, Danielle Marshall, Todd McCulloch. But we've got one last chance for the air alert. Just one last chance. And then here we've got Glenn Rice, Kenny Satterfield, Kwame Brown. We've got our first of the crossover. And this might be our only one, so that would be unfortunate. But it is Stefan Marbury. And then we've got a team leader, Sharif Abdul-Rahim, Mike Miller, and Wally Zerbiak. All right, so starting off for the PC, we've got Robert Ori, Nesterovich, Courtney Alexander. We've got a T-Mac All-Stars card. We've got a team leader of the Pistons, Rodney Rogers, Jamal Crawford, and Allen Iverson. That Iverson's pretty nice. Jamal Crawford, was he a rookie this year? No, he was not. Just had to think about that for a second. Two packs left in this stack, which means there are 10 total packs left. Steve Smith, Earl Watson, Alvin Jones. We've got our out of bounds here, our second one, I believe, because we had the first one was Tony Parker, but here we have Hakeem Olajuwon. So definitely not bad on those. And then here is a first round matchups of the Lakers versus Blazers. So technically it is a Lakers card. I'm not sure if they count this. No, they don't count this as a partly Kobe, but still Lakers, which is nice for the PC. And then we got Michael Olocandy, Lamont Murray, and Larry Hughes. Last pack in the second stack of eight. And we have got Michael Bradley, Samaki Walker, Andre Karolenko, and that is a Karolenko rookie, I will say. Alan Houston, we've got the Pacers, Al Harrington, Mike Bibby, and Ron Artest. All right, last stack of eight right here. Let's hope for the best. We only have one Kobe. We don't even have the Kobe base. We don't have a Jordan base. Come on, let's do this. All right. Now I did see, did I skip over Jason Richardson? Yeah, so Jason Richardson's a rookie. Theo Ratliff, we got Utah Jazz, Grant Hill, Marcus Canby on the back. Getting nervous, seven packs. Joe Smith, Junis Elgoskis, Richard Hamilton, Andre Miller. We've got the Clippers, Keon Clark, Terrell Brandon, and an NBA All-Stars, Shaquille O'Neal. So that's pretty cool. I will put that in a sleeve. Moving on. Again, really hoping for Kobe. Carrie Kittles, Carl Malone, Eddie Jones, Vitali Potopenko. We've got matchups to Sean Stevenson, Bobby Jackson, and Terry Porter. Down to our last five packs. Anthony Mason, Vladimir Radmanovich. Rebraka, Clifford Robinson, Miami Heat, All-Stars Vince Carter, Malik Rose, and Chris Whitney. Or Whitney. What did it say? Whitney. Whew. 
four packs. Richard Jefferson, Troy Murphy, Eddie Curry. We did get another crossover, but it was only Jason Williams. So that's unfortunate, but we did get a second one there. We've got a Wizards card, Speedy Claxton, Tracy McGrady, and David Robinson. Down to our last three. All right. Damar Johnson, Joel Prisbilla, Vin Baker, Derek Anderson. And did we just get the same card again? We did. The same Kobe card. So we doubled up on one of them. But it is the team leaders card. So I'm going to put that right there with the other ones. Mateen Cleaves, Antonio Davis, Sean Marion. All right, two packs left. Need that luck more than ever now. Chris Webber, Quentin Richardson, Peja Stoyakovic. We've got another out of bounds. So this is the second one we were expecting, and it's Vladimir Radmanovic. So not much there. And then, oh, here's the second one. So this is not the base, but it is a conference semifinals Lakers versus Kings matchup card that features Kobe Bryant. So this is one of the ones that is considered a Kobe card. So we did get a second Kobe, but still nowhere, none where Kobe is like the featured player. Um, very interesting. Austin Crozier, Nick Van Exel, and Michael Finley. Last pack. Oh boy. So I will take out the gum. Looks like we have a heritage. I'm going to pull a few from the back and let's hope for the best. Jamal Mashburn, Jason Terry, Vladi Divac, Howard Isley. I saw the Wizards. I was hoping it was Jordan, but it is not. We've got a Lakers. Mitch Richmond, a Rockets, Steve Francis is going to be the final air alert and then ending it off with a Milwaukee Bucks team card. All right, so we'll do a brief summary of what we got. Box review. Here is everything in front of us. I will go down a little bit. Maybe that'll help with the zoom. But here is what we ended up getting. So we got all three of our Heritage Air Alerts, which was really nice. Uh, didn't get Kobe or Jordan, but we did get Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, and Steve Francis. So definitely, you know, Carter and McGrady can't complain there. We hit three out of bounds. You were only expected to get 2.4 of those. So we actually beat the odds by getting three instead of two. Um, headlined by Tony Parker, which was a rookie card right here, which is super nice. We did get two crossovers which were the Stephon Marbury and Jason Williams. Uh, no Kobe or Jordan there as well, but we did beat the odds again because it is 1.7, so we did get two instead of just one, which was possible. We did get all four of the first round matchup cards, uh, so there are four teams featured on each card, so we do have the, like, you know, the Lakers Blazers on this one, um, but four per card, four different cards, so all 16 teams that made the playoffs are in this as well as the two conference semifinals, uh, the different pairings, which we have the Lakers and the Kings there at the bottom, which is a Kobe Bryant card, technically. It can be found under Kobe. Now, as far as rookie goes, headlined by Tony Parker, we did miss out on Pau Gasol, but here are the rookies, uh, which I'll go over. Tony Parker, Shane Battier, Tyson Chandler, Andre Karolenko, Gerald Wallace, Richard Jefferson, Joe Johnson, Jason Richardson, Raja Bell, Eddie Curry, Kwame Brown, Troy Murphy, Samuel Dallenberg, and Earl Watson. So those are all rookies. I'm sure there were more in here, um, but these were at least the notable ones. If there was, you know, a second round draft pick again, may have missed it. Going into the team leaders cards, we had 20 of these um, headlined by, of course, two of the different Laker team leader cards, which feature Kobe and Shaq on it. So that was pretty nice. And then notable mention, uh, Tim Duncan on this Spurs one. And then lastly, or not lastly, but we had 
all these different all-star cards, we hit 19 different all-star cards, headlined by Shaquille O'Neal, Allen Iverson, we had Vince Carter, we had two McGrady's, but what we were missing out on, again, was Kobe and Jordan. I don't know what's going on, but we hit tons of big names, but just, you know, all the all-stars, basically, except the two biggest ones. And then, here's what we have for lastly. We did get a hit. Articles of the Arena. Chris Webber, which is super cool. It's a game-worn, or a game-used floor card from the Boston Garden. So, not amazing, but a lot of cards. Um, and, you know, $148 for a hobby box. It's... Hard to complain, but you guys let me know what you think. Uh, was it worth it? $148? Yay or nay? Let me know. Two for five on Kobe, and that's going to wrap up this box. I obviously have some work to do to get the other three now. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like on this video. And again, if you're enjoying my videos, my tribute to Kobe, and my Kobe hunts, my box openings, I hope you consider subscribing so you can follow along as we continue our journey to remember and celebrate the life and career of Kobe Bryant. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time with more Kobe cards.